<laughs> well, do you know how many serious videos that we didn't get to do over the last couple weeks because of spyware problem? Spyware wouldn't allow Firefox to upload videos. It's kind of weird. So, I'm going to sit here and I'm going to do what I do. That's my job here. That's what I do. So, a lot of people love to tell me that videos should not be made by people like me. You wonder what is a people like me? What is a person like me? Hmm. What kind of person like me? It's kind of weird how the range of this video camera is. I can come all the way over here and just boom to videos like bam. I get a longer USB extension to do more damage. Hey, young Romeo. Ha <laughs> ha, can you see young Romeo? Young Romeo, Romeo? Ha <laughs> ha. I don't know if this works. I can only look at the screen and try to guess. Guess to make, learn how to use this camera I just built. You can't see the, you can't see nothing. In the daytime, this will be dangerous. This could be the kind of camera where I could walk down the streets and give people interviews just like right this have somebody stand right next to me like hey what do you got to say about Obama's new package on <laughs> this little camera is a little camera that can see even from the side angle I can walk do my thing and boom spin around and, uh, dun, 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 dun. This right here might be the new way for you to to be done. Because I can actually have somebody walk along with me. And you know, hell. They can actually carry my laptop with me and we can do this. It's Starbucks all across America, I guess. Shit, I don't know. But I would like to go outside and try this one time outside. So, let me see if somebody will do an interview with me. Just to see if this will work. Or, hey, I have one hand on the camera. So that is furthest point. Now, here's a dirty ass fan. I should have been cleaning the top of the fan. Now, the camera the roof. You see the top of the fan, look. It's that dirt from the top of the fan. Let's see, what's up here? A flying camera. I um, fixated on my new toy. In the first shot this summer to get to do videos. Hey, yo, sir, check this out, sir. Hey, sir. hands the other way. Switch hands again. What I need to do is figure out how I can get this stick down right down the middle. I'll put a secondary camera on the other side. I have two cameras on the end of the stick. The stick is actually heavy. If I shake the stick, it'll give it like the earthquake effect. Oh, oh, oh. Earthquake. Look at that. Put on pretty good range away from the laptop. Ooh, the kitchen is a mess. Maybe when I do my cooking stuff. Uh oh, uh oh, 
almost gonna break loose here. Mm. I don't want that to break loose. I'll do my cooking stuff maybe next time. Or maybe I'll put like a string or something. Stick it in my pocket. Now it's in my pocket. I'm barely touching it. I mess with that wire around me or I'll get you. Nah, oh, this is broken. This is in the pocket. And Right through the belt, right in the belt, and in the pocket, right here. I could actually walk like this, but it would leave the camera at a sort of drag. But right now, you could walk like this, or maybe you put it through two belt hoops, two belt hoops right here. And then you know, this is this is a good angle. Pull the pants up some more. This will be the angle right here. I have to move that around. That's my way. Took it down the pocket a little bit more. Inside the pocket through one bell loop. That's right there. I could probably do a skit like this outside. Yeah. Uh, I think right there is the angle. Now my hands on the pocket. And I'd have to have somebody walk with the laptop. You know, the light's right under the light this way. <laughs> Ooh. I think I'm going to have fun with this. Now it's out of my pocket again. But the thing is with me, I'm sort of lazy. I don't want to have to hold this. And then I'll bring it in closer. If I bring it in closer, then I have to hold it here at this angle. I can still manipulate it like that. Then I'll bring this head down like that. Then I'll push the stick down like that even further. Now the stick is at a slight. So this is straight down right here. Almost out. Uh -huh. That's the angle. That's straight down. Now you can actually see the pole for the first time. And all this. There you go. See that now you get the perspective. Turn it at this angle. Turn the angle. And now you can never see the pole. You just have to remember to hold the angle at an angle in order for you to get your point across. Like right there is me. So this right here won't come down a little more. I need to put that on like a stick or my screen or something. Because look, this is straight up and down now. That right here will be. This will be the probably the angle now that you two get from videos. I'll be doing videos probably from this angle more. Right here. Or like this. But somehow I have to fix it so I don't have to hold this. Or that I can keep it at an angle. Or even attach it to my body somewhere. Maybe a string or a harness around my neck. Or something like this so it's always facing me. Or like this. This right here is a pretty good angle. This angle, I can always look at the camera and give you that head on look. One, two, three. You know, but see, I'm, I doubt if I just walk around like this, focusing on this, because you turn this light on. This light is an LCD light, and it is glaring. The light hurts your eyes, so you tend to not want to look towards the light at all. So you don't want to look towards the light at all. Here's where the light is actually making a difference. Hmm. Well, look, I'm having fun. I'm just tripping with the camera. Don't play these videos, no mind. But hey, wish me luck on this new um, huh, gadget. That's it.